right. Um, we're going to do a super short episode tonight. So last time we were getting into the inks. Tonight we're going to continue some inks, put in a few details on the main subject here of Mikey in the foreground. We're going to work on his feet uh, currently. So let's just jump into this shin and calf muscle. My left contact lens is being very sill. So uh, I had some uh, computer issues I needed to resolve this evening. So uh, I didn't get started until an hour after I was planning to. Um, but yet to see what we can get done in just a few minutes. Get a little bit of this foot in here. I'm going to add a little bit to this foot than what I had before. Um, because I think it needs to be a tad bit longer. Right now we're getting the edges of the toes in there. Some of the tendoning we can see through the bottom of the foot or the top of the foot. And then ball feet and the heel. I wonder if everybody's okay to see this. You can see it enough. Uh, if anybody wants me to boost that up, for next time, leave a comment. Don't be afraid to leave comments. Let us know you're here. Uh, I am using a particular software so for um, this recording that I am relatively new at. Fill those in. Cool. All right, we got a foot. Not the foot. We have a foot. The foot. Will be in the background of this. So now we're not going to get a. Not, I'll just talk about feet, but we're not going to get a full fledged foot on this one because I decided that since we're kind of cut off and we need a little bit of a flooring, I'm going to have some water flowing down here on the bottom of our frame or canvas, whatever we want to call it. I'm going to get a little bit of a shin in there. I am going to turn this back up to about 85. That's a little bit better for me. Now you're not seeing my right click boxes here whenever I'm working on this. Oh, little zipper zini. Straw. Mm. Last time, I'm sorry, I had a a bunch of static on the live show, but it seems like this one's coming through just fine. So we're gonna stick with the regular microphone. Um, okay. Well, we got Mikey. Okay, that's it. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. What we do need to do is put in these darn nunchucks. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do the effect of the nunchucks swinging. So this is going to be kind of a little experiment here. I think I may save these nunchucks for maybe later. Since that's spinning, that's going to be an effect. We probably want to add that in last. So we're going to change this layer from ink to ink mic and then we're going to add another layer and this is going to be pipe okay we're going to turn that back down to 75 so i can see that just a tad bit better and i am going to go ahead and make this pipe we're going to do the main details of this 
well, not the details. We're going to do the outline shape of this pipe. And we're going to have it go off screen, give it a little bit of a bend. Maybe. Or we can do one of these. I'm going to give that here like it doesn't have anything wrong with it. Up. And that can even go all the way up to the top of our page. Down here. This doesn't have to be super straight. Just needs to have... It needs to connect with his foot there. There you go. That's not bad. We could curve it a little bit more here. I'm going to put that just slightly up. Maybe not, but that's fine. That looks good. So then we're going to right click here, which you still can't see. I'm right clicking, then I'm going to stroke path. And I think that should turn it to what I want it to be. Yeah. Good. So now we've got the line work in there and we can erase what we don't want because that leg is in front, that leg is on, that foot is on top. We get a continuing aeration on this foot. Fill that in. And I'm going to erase the layer of, oops, erase a little bit of Mikey there. There we go. Now his foot is on top of a pipe. And I've got a little detail here that's like a kind of a connection piece. So we can get that on there. We're going to set how much of a curve that is by helping help with math, we're going to use our math skills to show how much of a curve, which we want that anchor to be as close to the middle as possible. And we're going to put it right there-ish. Yeah, I think that looks good. Go here, right click, hit stroke path. And we have our little tiny piece of some kind of connector there. You can put as much or as little on here because the only person who's going to notice is somebody who's got knowledge of plumbing and they can at least appreciate us putting in small technical things. So you wouldn't put that on a pipe. You wouldn't put that on a pipe. But you know what? That's going there just for now. It's a little, you know, connector. Who gives a care? We're going to put that on there. Um, God, we didn't make it very far in this one. Maybe this one might have to connect uh, with something else tomorrow. But we're getting a little bit into our details. So we can keep going. A little more details. And I think, actually, put him there. Oops. I'm going to scooch you in just a tade. Put that in there. Stroke the path. Got that. And what we can also do is we can hit M or Shift M. Transform this selection. Yeah, it's not, uh, this program I'm using is not showing the uh, other windows. Like if I right click right here, it's going to have a full window that pops up, but it's not going to, it's not showing that for some reason right now. Um, we're going to do a second technique here, which is using the selection tool to uh, make a, make a fill on here. So what I did was I made the, I put the selection tool in by hitting M and that's either going to take you to um, the 
rectangular marquee tool or the elliptical marquee tool. So you want the elliptical, which is the circle, put that in there, and then we are going to hit W and go to the magic wand and make sure that's on minus. Um, and then we're going to deselect what's in there. I usually hit G to fill in, and then I'll go up here to select. And then what I'm seeing on my screen is select, and then I will hit uh, contract, and we'll contract that by five, hit X, and then we've got a shape here, which we're gonna make this kind of a cylinder that will end here and pick up here and right there to that spot. We're gonna do the same little technique, go up to selection. Again, it's not showing the windows that you need, that you'll, you'll be able to see. Go to selection, hit zero on the feather, fill that in, select, modify, contract by five, cut that out. And now we've got a little J bend here. We can do the same thing over here and make this fatter. I'm not gonna worry about that right now though, uh, perhaps later. Uh, and I can probably go ahead and put some water in down here. I'm gonna save some of that. I think we could probably get into maybe just the basics. I'm gonna merge these two layers merged and I think I'm going to cut off Mikey's foot here with what will be um, water and you know like whenever you're making a water shape you almost want to draw it the same way you would fire or energy. I like to do a lot of dynamic water. So I like to do these kind of almost like that typical water shape where it goes, um, you know, up and over, like it all goes to a curve and to a point. Whenever it ends, it goes to a point and then you can fill up and then, you know, those kind of spikes that you always see in water. You know, and this we're gonna go up to a point, a U up to a point, almost like a little Nike shape, up to a point, down, up to a point, down, and kind of always do that. Go up over here, give yourself some variation, and move. Now, whenever we throw in more water effects, that will be like the the water that is crashing up against his foot. So you, it'll be probably be white so we can even fill that in if we want and that's going to be the white water that hits it we'll put more of that around here and then a combination of like a dark blue or something but i think what we'll go ahead and do is add some color to mikey here um, and we can kind of choose our colors we're gonna make it give him orange so a good happy halfway through the RGB color scheme here is a good orange. And we can go up here, we can hit Control G a couple times till we get to the paint bucket. And we are going to have, go up here to mode. And I'm gonna use darken to darken this in cause that helps get really close to my edges. And this is at 300%, here's 100%. And you can go in here and you can fill in with a brush and do darken since we are working with um, a black and white hard edged picture here. And you will we'll kind of touch those up later. And if you flatten this, it sometimes can be a little easier to uh, fill those in. So we'll put orange here. We're going to put orange here. Now, sometimes I I like to put orange uh, or the turtle's color in for all of their pads and stuff. I think for this, we're going to keep them with like a kind of a, 
maybe a leathery brown type look, kind of like they do in the movies. And then that way, the only bur bursts of color for each of them to keep it a little less distracting. Because if I've got Mikey together or close to Raph, we may lose what, um, or not be able to tell which turtle's which. So we'll go in here and then we'll fill those in. You can kind of pick what color green we want to make them all. I'm not going to go, I'm going to switch over to the CMYK spectrum and we can kind of see what color, that's a pretty good turtle green. Is just 100% cyan, 100% yellow. Let me see, see I got 100% cyan, 100% yellow. We can tone this down if we want, make it a little more on the greener side. It can be, that's kind of oozy green. That's a different green. That's kind of a, that's, that's not bad. Kind of like that. We can go like this, keep them more, or we can see, let's do 100%, 100%. That may be a little too dark. I'm gonna knock this down to 85. Maybe, let's see what 85 looks like on there too. 85 and 85, that's not bad. Let's see what maybe 70 on the yellow looks like. That's a little more, a little more blue. Let's do 65 here, see what that looks like. That's not bad. Maybe we stick with 85 and 85. I kind of like that green. 85 cyan, 85 yellow. That's a decent, that's a decent turtle color. So then we can go in here and we can fill in our, sh our skin. Good job, everything seems to be closed. And I hit my shortcuts, it goes right back to the thing I just had. And I got a little bit of green on there, so we're gonna filibuster that. Filibuster. I'm gonna hit my I'm gonna hit D and then B. I'm gonna put that up to eight. Fill in some of these shapes that I didn't fill in last time. And now I can go to since I have my color established, I can hit I and hit the eyedropper tool and select the colors I want to use. If I'm going to go back and forth between one color and another color. Good, we got all those in there. All of our shapes have been closed, except for here. We're going to have to come down here and fix this. Cuddle butt that in. I select that. Almost didn't make it tonight to do the show live because I had to I had to go over to a, uh, I, I sold some posters this evening and almost had to stop um, a, I want to call it a boyfriend of somebody's who was getting a little rough with a kid in front of the movie theater and Got out of the car for a second because I was like, uh, I'm going to have to stop this dude. But they got away from me and went inside and he looked back because he probably thought I was going to do something. And I was about to. Uh, hopefully, if anything had happened, he would have wised up and realized, hey, uh, probably would have chosen some different words, uh, but would have said, this place is full of cameras, so you can't attack anybody here, unless you're not smart. Oh boy, so that was a odd, odd little almost altercation, kind of a non-story, but still. Now I'm filling these parts in with white for now to... Kind of separate that from our layer back there of our sketch. Might also help with when we're filling in colors. Got all that. Sometimes I go back and forth between putting leg bracelets, leg leg straps on the turtles, but we don't need to do that on here to not do it. 
Make sure we filled in these shell parts. Okay, yeah, that looking pretty good. Now we're going to decide, um, I'm gonna make the shell just a tad dark. Stay away from the blues, kind of get this. I want this to be almost a kind of darker brown to begin with. That's probably good for there, down here. And then here we're going to lighten it up <coughs> just a tad. Maybe I'll lighten it up a bit more. There you go. You can have that edge. I like to think that this edge goes down here and goes into the front shell down here. And now we're going to decide what color we're going to make all of our knee pads. There's going to be kind of a duller gray. I'm going to lighten that up just a tad. Take out some of the black. Because then that way, whenever we do shade it, these will pop out a little bit more than what if they if we need to. We're probably going to keep them pretty dark. Um, but yeah, whenever they get the shades put on them, they'll look cool. Put some dark shades on those. I'm gonna put less color in the chucks. Make those more of a gray. Not that much. Fill, 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 fill. Yeah, there you go. That's not bad. Uh, I'll do a couple things on here. Maybe we'll go ahead and fill in this pipe. What do you say? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna change these to have a little bit more red in them. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, there you go. Now they look more like a sturdier wood. There you go, cool. All right, and then I will I'm gonna go up here to my swatches, and I'm gonna use that gray that I just had on there for this pipe. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also adjust that, and we're going to make this, you probably, you can't see this, but I went to hue and saturation and clicked colorize so not to put too much on there, but I am going to make that a little more on the blue side to give that a more metallic look. So like that, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now he's on a pipe and we got our water down here enough. I'm going to show you the technique that I will be using on the next episode to make shades. If you want to practice on yours, the small thing that I do on here is I will add a layer and we're going to rename this shades. Switch that around to have that be light blue. Maybe you can still see that. Can you still see that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. And we're going to keep the shades tighter around the bottom of the eye and heavier up underneath the eyebrow. So then we will hit keep our pen tool open, hit right click and then fill path. And I think actually what we're gonna do is fill this path but we're going to feather it two pixels. And as you can see, that puts a little bit of a fuzz there. We'll go down to the shades. We're going to knock down the opacity to 35. And then we've got a little shade on the eye of the mask. And we'll go in down here, put a little bit underneath this. path all of our parameters are the same I'm going to 
check something real quick because I don't really look at the details on here. path. I'm not going to preserve the transparency. There we go. We got a little shade there. And we're going to add just a tad more down here for underneath his head. Down here on where his neck would be. Turtles don't generally have longer necks. At least I don't usually make them with longer necks. Right click, fill path, enter. And now I got a little bit of a shade. I'm gonna eliminate this one for now. It's gonna kind of have that be stuck out a tad, but I think it's okay to fill that in. So Mikey's a little hunched over. Fill that path. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. So we got a little bit there. We can. I'm gonna do a little bit around the muscles. Stay in on where your shapes dip in, and pay attention to what your light source is gonna be. Ours is gonna be probably from the top, as much as we can get in there that doesn't detract from the picture. Right click, fill path, and see you can already tell we're getting some good definition in the Mazars. Right click, fill the path, enter. See? Looking good. I'm gonna fill that off there. Doop, doop. Fill, 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 fill. Fill the path. And we got a little bit of an armpit. Cool. And we can even do something like this and maybe make it so that this is not touching here. Touch. And with the fill path, I'm going to change that to zero. So I want that to have kind of a harder edge. But yeah, see, we've got a little bit going there. We need to do this other eye. And I'm going to do a little very small bits on the face here for tonight. And then fill that path. I'm going to change it to one. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, not bad. Good. Do a little bit of the dip here in the eyebrows. Mikey's still smiling enough, but it's kind of a it's kind of a crazy smile. See, it's got crazies. And then we can even go in here. Put in a little bit for the teeth. For right now. Not anything nuts. Zero. There you go. Cool, huh? So now we got some teeth in there, just a little, and we'll go back in and we'll we'll, we'll do some highlights um, <clears throat> on another episode. Fill that. Good. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, it's too late for me to keep going, but you can see that we're starting on in the process. We got some color on there. We got some good inks. It's going to look pretty cool whenever we get um, into this a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and stop it there. On the next app, I'm going to put in some more shades on Mikey, maybe finish as much of that as we can so we can get him in a good foreground with the pipe and stuff. And then that way we can go in on the background and see what other colors we want to put around him after we get him kind of in the light and maybe do the 
do these other turtles. This is going to be kind of a darker scene to where we're only really going to see a lot of the highlights on the characters more than anything. But we'll put some shades in here on the pipe, maybe later, but we'll finish up Mikey's shades next time and then put some, maybe put some highlights on Mikey. That's pretty good for tonight. Um, I got a lot of Zelda I got to play. So I played it Monday, right whenever I got it, and haven't played it since. I need to have some Zelda time. That's class dismissed. CoolDojo.com drawing class. What? <laughs>